day students. My name is Tlasisi Ajadi, your physics teacher for today. Our topic for today is resonance, vibrations in pipes and strings. Learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to further analyze the concept of sound waves with emphasis on 1. Resonance. 2. Vibrations of air in pipes. 3. Modes of vibration in a stretched string. Content. Let's start with resonance. What is resonance? Resonance is a phenomenon which occurs whenever a particular body is set in oscillation at its own natural frequency. As a result of impulses or signals received from, from some other body which is vibrating with the same frequency. Resonance is a special phenomenon of forced vibration. It can be illustrated by the following. 1. In sound. It is found that when a vibrating toning fork is held over the top of a bullet tube, why the water in the tube is slowly run out by means of a tap. As the level of water is gradually lowered, there's an associated increase in the loudness of the sound from the air column of the tube until a certain stage when the sound produced is loudest. At this stage, resonance is said to occur and the frequency of the fork is equal to the natural frequency of the air column, and the air vibrates with maximum amplitude. Number two, in mechanics, a diver who jumps repeatedly at one end of a diving board sets the board into resonance, and so, gain a considerable uplift before diving or jumping. 3. In electricity, resonance finds an application in the tuning of a radio set to a broadcasting station. The radio is tuned to a station when the frequency of its receiver circuit is sent in resonance by the incoming radio wave. Number four, it is also found that the body of a car sometimes vibrates violently at a particular speed when the frequency of the engine is equal to the frequency of the car body. Number five, when a column of soldiers marches over a bridge, the bridge will vibrate violently and even get destroyed when the frequency of the marching soldier is equal to the natural frequency of the bridge, and we have resonance, reason why soldiers break column, that is, do not march in unison when, they, when marching across a bridge. Now, vibrations of air in pipes. Vibration of air in pipes. The study of modes of vibration in pipes is of importance because most musical instruments, such as flutes and drums, etc., are either open or closed pipes. What is a closed and open pipes? Or what are closed and open pipes? A closed pipe is one which is open at one end and closed at the other end, while an open pipe is one which is open at both ends. It has been shown experimentally that the frequency of air in these pipes increases as the length of air column decreases, that is, F is proportional to the inverse of the length, L, where F is the frequency and 
L is the length of L. Let's go for a short break. Welcome back. Now, we are going to look at the modes of vibrations in closed pipes. The simplest mode of vibration produced in a closed pipe when it is blown gently at the open hand is as shown in figure A above. The disturbance created at this open hand travels through the air column and is reflected at the closed hand. The layer of air at the closed end cannot move, so we have a node N there. While the open hand is the antinode, since the air there is free to move. Thus, the first resonance occurs when the closed hand is a node and the open end is an antinode. The antinode is extended a little distance C outside the end of the tube. And this distance C is called the end correction, which is always ignored. Since the distance between a node N and an antinode A is in a waveform, is one quarter of a wavelength, then the length of the air column L is given by L is equal to Na, which is equal to lambda over 4. That is, the wavelength of the wave produced is given by lambda is equal to 4L. Using the wave equation, V is equal to F lambda. The fundamental frequency is given by f naught is equal to v over lambda. <clears throat> and when we substitute for L for lambda, f naught is equal to v over 4L, which is the fundamental frequency of the sound produced by a closed pipe. By blowing harder across the open hand of the pipe, a second position will be reached when a large sound will be aired again. In this position, a second node will be formed, as shown in figure B above, such that the length of the air column is given by L is equal to Na plus An plus Na, and since Na is equal to An, which is equal to lambda over 4, then L is equal to 3 lambda over 4, where the wavelength lambda is equal to 4L over, over 3, <clears throat> and which is the wavelength of the vibrating L. Using the wave equation, V is equal to F lambda. F1 is equal to V over lambda, and when, when we substitute... 4L over 3 for lambda, F1 will be equal to 3 lambda over 4L. And since F0 is equal to V over 4L, then F1 is equal to 3 F0. The frequency F1 is called the frequency of the first overtone. Similarly, we can show from figure C that the second of a tone, F2, is given by L is equal to 5Na. Since Na is equal to lambda over 4, then L is equal to 5 lambda over 4. Or the wavelength lambda is equal to 4L over 5. Also, using V is equal to F lambda, then F2 is equal to V over lambda. And when we substitute 4L over 5 for lambda, F2 will be equal to 5V over 4L, which is also equal to 5F0, where F0 is equal to V over 4L. The frequency F2 
is the second is the frequency of the second overtone of the sound produced. Also, that of the third overtone is F3 is equal to 7V over 4L, which is equal to 7F0, and so on and so forth. Thus, in a closed pipe, only odd numbers of harmonics are present as overtones. The possible harmonics are F0, 3F0, 5F0, 7F0, and so on and so forth. We'll be back after a short break. You are welcome back. Now we are going to look at the vibrations in open pipes. The waves set up in an open pipes have antinodes at both ends. The fundamental or simplest mode of vibration is that in which the midpoint is a node, as shown in figure A above. Therefore, the length L of the pipe is given by L is equal to AN plus NA, which is equal to 2NA, which is equal to 2 times lambda over 4, or L is equal to lambda over 2 where the wavelength lambda is equal to 2L. The fundamental frequency, F0, is given by F0 is equal to V over lambda. And we substitute 2L for lambda, F0 is equal to V over 2L, which is the fundamental frequency of the sound produced by, by an open pipe. The frequency F1 of the first overtone, as in figure B, is given by L is equal to AN plus NA plus AN plus NA, which is equal to 4NA, or L is equal to 4 times lambda over 4, and that will give you a wavelength. Then F1 is equal to V over lambda, and when we substitute L for lambda, F1 is equal to V over L, which is also equal to 2 F0, where F0 is the frequency of the first overtone. Similarly, the frequency F2 of the second overtone is given by F2 is equal to 3V over 2L, which is also equal to 3F0, where F0 is equal to 2 over L. Therefore, in an open pipe, the harmonics present are F0, 2F0, 3F0, 4F0, 5F0, etc. That is... Both odd and even harmonics are present as overtones. Now, we need to distinguish between harmonics and overtones. <clears throat> harmonics are all number multiples of the fundamental frequency, where F0 is the first harmonic, 2F0. 3F0, ETC, are the second and third harmonics, ETC. While overtones are the next higher frequency produced after the fundamental frequency by a vibrating body. So I want to take the following as your practice uh, question. Number one. Distinguish between harmonics and overtones of a vibrating body. Number two, the frequency of the fundamental note of an open pipe is 200 hertz. What is the frequency of the next possible note from the same pipe? Number three, if the length 
of the air column in a closed pipe is 45 centimeter. When it emits its first overtone, what is the wavelength of the node produced? This is where we're going to stop today. By next class, we shall continue from uh, vibrations in strings and classification of musical instruments. Thank you very much. Continue to stay safe. Bye.